We've got some pretty crazy stuff here. We've got on cyclingnews.com motors in bikes. That's fucking crazy. So the e-bike, always drink the water. Claims of mechanical doping at the Tour de France and CBS, 60 Minutes Investigation. Team Sky reportedly heavier than other teams during 2015 tour. Man, what's going down? Let's, um, Greg LeMond. Greg LeMond always seems to be somewhere close by his fucking drama. He loves it, mate. He fucking loves it, trying to sell his bikes and shit. Um, and Greg LeMond. I mean, come on. Dude looks like he's never fucking ridden a bike in his life. He looks like a fucking walrus. You know? Uh, and Greg claims he was clean and I don't know. It's, it's just all a big craziness. But anyway. Anyway. Um, I do like those old Greg LeMond steel bikes. They look pretty cool. Uh, what do I think about it? Motors. Dr. Ferrari. There's some guy called um, Vargas from Hungary. Who was paid two million bucks. I'll put a link down below. You can read the article. What do I think about it? I think, I think man, fuck bro. It's like... Why not? Why not use... I mean, the goal is to win. You're paid to win. You know? Like, people... It's fucking Europe, mate. It's fucking racing, bro. It's cutthroat. Like, people are risking their life going down a coal at 100k an hour with a fucking ice cream lid on your head and a little fucking one millimeter skin suit. Like, like, I mean... Like, what do you... Like, people are surprised that people use e-bikes or whatever, like... I mean, I would, I would love to buy one of these bikes if I could get a hold of one. So if anyone knows, link down below a website I can buy one from. I mean, I would, I would fucking buy one, like, today just to, just to experience one, you know. I mean, I've got e-bikes, I understand that, but people can spot an e-bike, but I'd love to have one of these mechanical doping bikes. It'd be great trolling fun, great trolling fun. But then again, if I did have one, people probably wouldn't take my climbs seriously ever again. But again, you just show power data. You just show power data, and boom. If you're showing power data, then... You know, pretty hard to scam that. Um, in the Tour de France and stuff like that. You just, you know, you have your uh, GPX file downloadable for everybody. It's, you know, and then, it's, you know, there shouldn't be any questions asked after that. But I think it's up to the riders who are being uh, confronted to show us your power data on Strava. Upload all your racing, all your training on Strava. And then there's no, then there can't be any discussion anymore, any questions. And I think if you don't show your power data on Strava, and you're a big time writer, then you just you're just gonna keep having these media people just going, well, what are you hiding? And you put it all out there, have full transparency. I'll put all my power data up on on Strava so people can say, you know, what are you doing, doing rider? And I'm like, what am I on? I'm on fucking bananas, bro. So it's good that I can actually put it all out there, show people actually how you know certain drugs can help with cycling, some drugs like testosterone and stuff like that. If, if you, they don't really help because. If you're taking me you gain too much muscle and you, you you bomb as a climber. I haven't done my best clock times in almost four years, three four years. So testosterone definitely makes you slower on the bike because uh, it puts too much muscle on you. EPO is what you want to use, but um, your testosterone a little bit could help you in a stage race for recovery. But otherwise, you're, you're going to gain too much weight and you're going to be fucked. I think probably testosterone with corticosteroids like Kenacort would would be good. I've never done that combo, um, but yeah, it's pretty. pretty Put all your data out there. What do you think down below? Read the article. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I can buy one of these uh, twelve thousand dollar bikes. I'll buy one. If I can, I'll order it tonight. If I can get a link, if it's legit. Crazy stuff. But uh, yeah. And someone please put a link down below to the CBS report. I'd like to watch it. And see what Tyler Hamilton said. Cut the fuck up. Go vegan. See you in the road, Uncle Chester.